Welcome to the Boxing Locker. I am Matt Goddard, former professional boxer, now boxing coach, and this is my Boxing 101 series. We've been through a whole host of things in the previous videos, so before we get into anything else, if you haven't checked those out, please do. Don't forget to subscribe because there's more content coming regularly. All right. In the last video I recorded, we talked about ways of defending the jab, and I gave you five methods for defending the jab. Now I'm gonna give you four methods, all right? Not quite as many, but four, which is still a lot, methods of defending the cross, that is the opponent's backhand. Again, as I said in the previous video, this is orthodox against orthodox, and southpaw against southpaw. Um, the, the orthodox southpaw, southpaw orthodox contrast is something I'll discuss in a future video, something that needs a whole, whole length of, uh, of attention to that we can't cover in these short videos that I'm recording here, right? So, first method of defense, defending an orthodox cross, okay? So, the right hand is coming at my chin here, okay? 99% of the time, they're going to be aiming at the chin. They're not going to be aiming too high on the head. So, it makes it a lot easier if you're in the correct position with your chin tucked because the punch is coming down here, okay? What I'm gonna now do is drop my right shoulder to my left hip and drop into my legs. See how both legs sort of drop there? Then I return to my position, I drop into here, okay? When I'm in my position, it looks like this. Now this hand has come up, I'm looking out the sides of my eyes, I'm in a real nice position to load those left hooks and I'm off the center line. Their punch with their backhand has gone straight over my head. I'm in a lovely position to counter and defend as I choose, right? In the orthodox stance, I'm bringing left shoulder, uh, sorry, southpaw stance, I'm bringing left shoulder to right hip. My boxing position, I drop down. My weight comes in, my, uh, my non-punching hand tucked in, my outside hand is here, I'm ready to work. Look at those knees, nice and soft. Um, drop down, using my leg strength to come back up with my own shots. Again, something we'll discuss in later videos. That's the slip, right? Now I call that an inside slip, because if you were to accidentally perform that against the jab, you're gonna end up inside the punch. I always think of everything from the jab down, which is why I would say that is an inside slip, because you're slipping inside the center line. But everyone has their own preferences on language. But key things that we're defending the cross by getting our head outside that center line, making sure everything's nicely tucked in. This outside hand can be pretty relaxed there. You don't have to be real high with that, pretty relaxed. That way you can shoot lots of different punches in there, find whatever angle works for you. The next method of defense is the barrier, okay? Now we spoke about a barrier against the jab. Against the cross, we're looking for a forearm barrier, right? So a forearm bar or a forearm block, lots of different terminology to describe it. The methodology is exactly the same thing. What I'm looking to do is sink my weight down and drive my arm up, redirect the punch with my forearm, okay? So as that fist comes through, drive that arm up, my chin's protected by my shoulder, my weight's nice and low, I can whip my own shots in from there, encounter, or I can look to defend the follow-up punches that come after that. Now remember, the forearm block is a very, very difficult thing to perform if you do not practice it often enough, right? So don't try and do this out of nowhere if you don't practice it again and again and again, because you will find yourself open and ending up in the wrong position, right? So forearm block, forearm barrier, I'm in my position, my weight's nice and evenly distributed. As I see that cross coming, I drive the elbow up firm and I drop down into my legs. That punch is now coming over me. I'm in a nice position with my chin tucked behind my shoulder. My arms caught their shot. I can now lift as I punch, drive their punch out of the way and create a real opening for myself to punch really, really hard, okay? Boxing stance, southpaw. I lift the elbow as I see the punch and I drop into my legs, elbows high. Chin's protected by the shoulder. I'm in a lovely position to come through with my own shots, right? Remember, the key thing is that we have strength of position. I don't want to be trying to do this too late and ending up with the arm flopping over the top. Otherwise, you can get clipped on the backs of the ears and that still hurts. Inevitably, that still hurts, okay? Let's move on to the third, third method of defense. Now, the third method of defense for the cross is the roll, right? I want to roll under that punch, right? Now, the roll is essentially a pencil on your head and you're drawing a circle, right? I always wanna go away from the punch before I roll under it. If I don't go away from the punch as I roll under it, I'm trying to go straight down, it can still clip me because it takes me longer to get down. If I go away from it, I'm riding the impact, so if it does clip me, I'm taking some of the power out of it and then I'm coming back underneath it, right? So orthodox stance, I drop this way, my left shoulder drops, I go down, round and up, loaded to this side, 
ready to whip that hook round and counter. So I go away slightly and I drop and come round and up. Back foot pivots so that this weight is loaded around that left hip. Ready to kick back, snap back in my own shots or to drive round and come back again with another roll. Again, that's for a whole different video. So, hands up, I see the cross coming, I turn away from it, I drop down and I come up, ready to work. Southpaw stance, exactly the same thing. That southpaw left hand comes to me, I turn away from it, I come round, I come up, I'm ready to work. Really important there, and something that I didn't do, is to make sure that your inside hand is high. So this is my inside hand at the start of the roll, yeah? As I come out of the roll, this becomes my inside hand. My inside hand is low, I've just obeyed the left hand, their right hand is gonna come at me from here and hit me. So I wanna tuck that in, ready that when I throw my own counter, that's protecting me. So that we don't end up with any of those crazy double knockouts that you see once in a blue moon in boxing, all right? We don't wanna see any of that, we wanna make sure that we are the most defensively responsible fighter, so that when we are exchanging punches, the opponent is coming off worse in every exchange, right? So that's the third method of defense. That is the roll, another way of dealing with the number two, the cross. Okay, the final method of defense for the cross is the step back. Now, stepping back from a jab is slightly more challenging because you have to presume either that they haven't thrown a jab before it or that you've already defended the jab. So I'm in this stance, I've defended the jab, okay? So whatever I've done, I've defended the jab. I see that backhand moving, I take a step back. Where with the jab we wanted to take a slightly shorter step so that we evaded the punch by this much. Now on the cross we want to make sure we disengage completely, clear that shot out. You don't want to be getting clipped with anything, you don't want to stay in range so they can follow it up with a fully loaded hook. So we're going to step back, big stride, push off with the front foot, making sure our weight's nice and wide and low and we drop out of range. So as that cross comes to me, I push out and see how much space I clear. I'll show you again, I see that cross coming, I step out, my left hand stays high, nicely protected, okay? In south wall position, same thing, I see that south wall cross come, I push back with that front foot, okay? Front foot pushes off the ground, I evade, I disengage, I get myself out of that space, and I reset, ready to approach the opponent again from a safer position. So there we have it, guys. Another one in my videos in the Boxing 101 series, taking you through how to defend the number two, that is the cross. I hope you enjoyed it, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, check out the rest of the videos if you haven't already. If you have, go back, do them all over again and again and again. Simple drills for simple skills. The uh, message is always the same. Have a great day, and I'll see you for the next one.